Hi guys, Dr. Lauren again, one of the chiropractors here at Caldney Stanley Chiropractic. And today let's walk through why you're potentially getting some of the painless clicking or popping in the front of your hip. So we'll walk through kind of brief anatomy of the spine, the pelvis, what we're looking for, where that popping sound could be originating from. It is common, it is normal, it doesn't necessarily have to indicate injury. So we don't have to worry about that. Then we'll walk through a couple of brief things you can either try at home or in office to alleviate some of that sound. So let's start just by taking a look at the lumbar spine and pelvis itself. So all of these green bones here are our lumbar spine, areas for which part of that hip flexor originates from. So we have five of those. We have the second muscle belly starting on the inside of the pelvis here in this fossa. They come together, they coalesce into a common tendon, and insert on this little bump here, that's our lesser trochanter of the, of the upper thigh bone here. So what I'm gonna try to demonstrate with the elastics here is how those two muscle bellies converge into one, passing over the front of the pelvis. So as you can see here, we have our big one inside of our pelvis, the other one coming from these green guys here. They come together, form a common tendon, which then comes in and inserts on this little bump we showed you earlier inside the leg. Now. When we rotate the hip, when we lift it up towards us, rotate in and out, this tendon here does have a tendency to pass over and snap over this bony bump on the pelvis edge here. So you can kind of see that. It's not a smooth surface and everyone it might look a bit different. So perhaps an indication for why we're getting painless clicking in the front of our hip with certain movements. Okay, so now we know what's going on under the surface. How are we going to help ourselves at home? So let's walk through a couple easy stretches or exercises that are easy to do from the comfort of your own living room. So for exercises, let's start with just some single standing marches. This flexes that hip flexor, activates it. And as long as we're slow on the lowering, we get a bit of strengthening with that too. So from the side, coming up like this. From here, we could easily progress this into a step up. So have a stair or a small stool in the house. We're just stepping up onto, squeezing through the glutes, lift up, come back down, of course, using a railing for support if needed. You can do the same thing standing if you choose. You can just hold for a couple seconds, bring it back down, hold for a couple seconds, bring it back down. All right, let's come onto the floor and see what we have next. So exercises are pretty straightforward. You just need somewhere soft to lie on that's not a mattress or a couch. So single straight leg raise. We can have knees bent, knees straight. Just coming in, slowly lower to straight. Come in, slowly lower to straight. This range is completely dependent on what's comfortable for you. Maybe it looks like a knee bent, leg comes up here. When that becomes a bit easy, Perhaps we can try just keeping the leg straight as we come through that range of motion. You're really gonna feel it in the front of the hip here. If we're clicking at any time during the exercise, we're just gonna shorten the leg, shorten that moment arm. So how can we stretch this on either the edge of our bed or simply on the ground with a pillow under our hips? We're just lying back so our hips are propped up Bending one knee, bringing it into chest. You'll notice this opposite hip pulls off the ground or will float in the air if you're on the edge of your bed. You'll feel the stretch in the front of your hip here. Okay, so let's talk about some options. Maybe we don't have somewhere to lie flat during the day. What's an easier way of trying these either standing or kneeling if given the opportunity? So standing, you just need a chair, a stair, a step stool, whatever. We're just lifting one leg up onto something, leaning forward aiming to stretch the front of the hip here, okay? The higher you come up, you might feel more of a stretch here. The same thing can be said for a kneeling position. We just come into almost like a lunge. Again, you'll feel it in the front of the hip there. Of course, swap and try both sides. So hopefully that's been helpful. Take some of these and integrate them into your, uh, your daily schedule if you're noticing some clicking in the front of the hip. Hopefully that's answered some questions. Uh, if you have any other questions, please reach out to the clinic. We're more than happy to help. But for now, thanks so much, guys.